and speakers at the 2024 Agriculture Summit Africa say African countries must remove barriers to the use of machinery and technology for small-scale producers and improve credit access to dry food security in the region. Helen Osamide Akins reports. Africa, despite its vast arable land and rich natural resources, faces an ongoing battle with food insecurity. With over 1.4 billion people today and projections estimating the population to reach 2.5 billion by 2050, the demand for food is increasing exponentially. Yet, Africa remains heavily reliant on food imports, with over 40 percent of the continent's food needs coming from outside the continent. Here at the summit, issues on how Africans can move from scarcity to security was the focus. Speakers took turn to recommend ways African countries can achieve food sufficiencies. Unless we master the mechanics of production by which other societies have been able to overcome scarcity, we will not get out of food scarcity. When you see the most striking feature of an industrial society is their capacity to mass produce not only the final consumer goods, but also all the means of mass production. Today we have just about 21 billion US dollars in the agricultural space. 15 billion is from um, the practitioners themselves, I mean uh, the, the, the value chain practitioners, why 6 billion US dollars uh, have come from the uh, financial institutions. Uh, these things need to change. For Benue State, its strategies include making agriculture profitable for farmers and increase output through improved practices. As a necessary prelude to our ranching policy to boost yeast and milk production, we are open to investments in hay and fodder production for local consumption and exports. By scaling our processing and export facilities, we will create jobs and position Benue as a key player in regional and global markets. For Nigeria, the gap between food production and demand continues to widen, caused by climate change, poor infrastructure and inadequate agricultural investments. Helen Osamedei Kings, TVC News, Abuja.